Protect the wildlife. This award of certificates to these pupils and students is a yearly ceremony organized by the Limbe Wildlife Center. With about 2,000 pupils and students from various schools in Limbe and the West Coast area recognized for undergoing six months of training in conservation education. The event, which was massively attended, brought about some 14 schools ranging from primary and secondary schools in Limbe and beyond. According to the fundraiser and communication at the Limbe Wildlife Center, Laura Pearl, the pupils and students are brought together to share knowledge on what they have been studying in school through sketches and poems that focuses on zoonotic diseases and provides solutions to climate change. Zoonosis, these are diseases that are transmittable between animals and humans. Examples of such diseases are Ebola, COVID-19, monkeypox. So the main focus of today is, number one, to reward the children of Limbe who've attended the conservation outreach program at the Limbe Wildlife Center for their hard work. And the other message is to, you know, we're trying to inspire the next generation of conservationists in Limbe. And these children have learnt a lot over the year. The most important message that we've been trying to deliver this year is about zoonosis. Uh, only four years ago we saw the biggest pandemic of modern times and we're trying to stop that from happening again. Not just to protect our own health, human health, but also the health of the wildlife and the forest. So we've been delivering the message throughout the year that people should avoid eating bushmeat because that's where zoonotic diseases come from. With the collaboration of the Programme for the Sustainable Management of Natural Resources in the Southwest Region, among others, the head of the Integrated Conservation Education Centre, Limbre, urged the pupils and students to be champions of conservation education. The significance of this day is just to award um, meritorious students who have excelled well in conservation activities throughout the academic year. When we have 2,000 and above uh, people, students, young, young minds, we have an opportunity to come there and, and tell them what they are supposed to go back to tell their communities, which is protection of the forest, which is conservation of natural resources. Activities like the playback display, traditional dances and sketches were used to pass the message of the dangers of zoonotic diseases and the effects on climate change.